Bluegrass, my next guest has sung it all. She continues to defy expectations and touch the heart on her upcoming album, Brand New Dance, performing her new single, Never Be Anyone But Yourself. Please welcome Amy Lou Harris. <laughs> The single, the single that you just did is actually called Never Be Anyone Else But You. I said, yes. like, yourself or something well, like that. Well, I thought you were just doing it in your own yeah, style. I, I had a flashback <laughs> to an old relationship and just made my own title up or something. But well, I, it's, it's an old uh, Ricky Nelson song. Oh, yeah. So, before we go any further, I come bearing gifts. This is well, in case you're thinking about changing your image. <laughs> words for that sad damn Hussein. <laughs> and bring your ass down to Texas, fella. Anyway, um, thank you for this. You're welcome. Looks good. Yeah, and you look good. You know, I'm glad that you don't dye your hair. It's so sexy and classy. I'm glad you leave it like it is. Well, thank you. We, say, we have a... <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, we, we have a saying down south. If 
if it ain't fixed, if it ain't broke, broke. don't fix it. Yes, yes. My yeah. grandmother used to say that. <laughs> my family, um, yeah. uh, before my, uh, my, well, before me, was all born in Alabama. We used to say that. I'm ain't from Alabama. Really? Birmingham, yeah. We're from a little place, Coosa County. That's where my relatives originally were from, Coosa County. Get That's, out of here. No, I'm serious. I, they didn't tell me this. That's amazing. Alexander City, that whole... I know that whole area, Clanton. Yeah. Around there, yeah, the Coosa River, yeah. You might be my sister. We might, who knows? <laughs> yes, yes. Um, who were your idols when you were coming up? Well, when I first got into music, I got into music through folk music, and um, so Bob Dylan was a really big influence on me. Um, uh, artists like Joan Baez and Judy Collins, and Pete Seeger, uh, Bluegrass, Bill Monroe, the Stanley Brothers. So, um... Those were really, before I got into hardcore country, when I first got into music in my teens. I, I didn't come to country music until later in life, about my mid-20s. Yeah. And uh, I have time. I'm all right, right? I was looking over there, and this is not the hot band. These are new people with you. Right, right. I, uh, the hot band was, I, in my opinion, the, the best electric band in country music. And uh, I worked with uh, these guys in uh, various formats for 15 years, and then I had a vision to put together the best acoustic band in country music, and I think I did it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, um, some of your previous backup bands, a lot of famous people have come out of them. Yeah, yeah, Rodney Crell was, uh, was uh, uh, the original hot band member at one point. It was just me and Rodney formed mm -hmm. the hot band. And uh, then when he went on to uh, bigger and better things, Ricky Skaggs, uh, and does uh, other people that are not musicians, but uh, um, that are working as musicians now. But Tony Brown was a piano player in my band, and now he's probably one of the most successful record producers in Nashville, producing among others Rodney Crowell. So it's it's been a nice uh, circle of sort of family, hot band family that I've seen go on to do other things, and it's it's been very gratifying for me. Yeah. When are you going to uh, do a song with a sax solo in it? You mean me playing sax? Absolutely. I'd yeah. love to. Well, you wouldn't want to <laughs> hear that, I think, unless it was a one-note solo that I could hold out very long. But they loved you in the marching band when you were in high school. Well, they couldn't hear anybody else over the bass drum. So <laughs> when is the last time you picked up a sax? Oh, a few years ago, I was kidding around with my... Uh, daughter who's now 20 was uh, thinking about playing saxophone and we rented one and uh, I think I, I played a few notes on it and decided yeah it was a good idea that I gave this up <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted to play sax but you have to lick that reed for so long you know how you, people uh, say sit in class lick that reed and I'm like hey can I hire a guy to lick my reed before you know <laughs> I'm sure you could <laughs> <laughs> you know that that part I couldn't sit around all day mm, good to see you around. <laughs> licking that reed um you and Linda Ronstadt, Dolly Parton, did a project. Yeah. Will there be a sequel? Well, we would like there to be, but, um, you know, there's just, it's very difficult for three people to get their schedules together. So, so right now it's just in the stage of, well, we did one, we had a real good time, and if we ever have enough time to do one that's is good, maybe we will, but I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> yeah, because you all are very successful yeah, and very, very busy. busy. Um, what's the name of the album again? It's brand new dance. Brand new dance. I thank you for stopping by. Thanks, Arsenio. You want to uh, look at look at camera three and say hello to your kids? Well, actually, they're right up there. Oh, they're here? <laughs> Where? Are, oh, all oh, y'all ain't her kids. No, wait a minute. <laughs> you point your kids out. Where are your kids? Well, I with the pink there. The pink there. Yes. The and, and the black the, Arsenio. Oh. Okay. Hello. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. 20, is it still 23 hours? Yes. Peace.
Heidi Bohey and John Major are your hosts for a rapid-fire half-hour after-hours. Tonight featuring Las Hadas, next on TV 44.